Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part four of Iron Man's Helmet. Look at the previous three parts to see how I did the mechanics for the lift-up faceplate. All the parts are 3D printed. And how I dealt with the electronics, which still aren't fitted in the helmet. Now, uh, this time we're going to be dealing with the light-up eyes. I'm going to be building lenses, which you can still see through, and they light up. So, let's see what's on the bench. So, I previously did this project with a pair of mirror glasses. And the problem with these is they're curved in two directions, so as well as being curved this way, they're very slightly curved this way. And that makes it quite hard to diffuse light across the lenses. So this time I'm going to make my own flat lenses, which are only curved in one direction, if that makes sense. So I've got here is a piece of clear acrylic. It's got um, this green stuff on you peel off. Apart from that, it's clear. This is uh, basically the same as Perspex or Plexiglass, which are brand names for clear or for acrylic generally. This is clear acrylic. It is two millimeters thick. And the basic plan is to curve this to fit the lenses. Then I'm going to use some window mirror tint, which you'd use to pimp your ride, which is this stuff, which is silver to make a one way piece of silver tinted glass or Plexiglass. Um, and then we're going to use this fabric, which is a um, very thin mesh sort of fabric. It's actually intended for a bride's dress or wedding dress veil. And then we're going to use a lot of LEDs, which are square cross-section LEDs that we're going to line up along the lens to diffuse light across the fabric. But obviously this has got lots of holes in and we'll still be able to see straight through the one-way mirror effect. So first of all, I need to cut this up and then we need to go and shape it. So I've marked out just with a pen onto the plastic and then I'm basically I want these two pieces and then we're going to just score those and then we should be able to just snap it. So I'll go for that piece first. I need to score it multiple times with a sharp knife. Right, there we go. So I just need to peel the green off. Should be left with two nice bits of clear plastic. So we just need to bend those now into the contour of Iron Man's helmet. So I'm just normal, using a normal domestic uh, oven and grill combination in the kitchen. So I've got a grill element at the top um, for grilling things. And what I'm gonna do is curve this piece of acrylic over something curved. I'm going to use this um, nice bottle which did have Prosecco in. Um, glass radiates heat pretty well so, so we should be fine with that. Um, obviously you need something that doesn't burn and you need to be careful because ovens and grills are hot. Um, acrylic is pretty stretchy stuff so I'm expecting just to heat that under the grill and then find it just sort of slopes down and conforms with the bottle. So that'll take a few minutes. Let me just put that right in there. So it's about a minute and a half later and you can see that piece of plastic there curving over the shape of the bottle. I just block out that light so the camera doesn't uh, white out. So I just found out that that bottle is a bit too curved. So uh, basically what I've done while it was still warm, pulled it off and put it onto this knife block. Um, which normally goes that way up with knives in and just uh, Held that on there, being careful not to burn myself while it cools, and I found that that's exactly the right contour to fit in Iron Man's helmet. So I just need to do the other one, and then we can put the window tint on. So it's time to put the window film on, which is actually self-adhesive. I've already peeled back the corners because it's incredibly hard to separate. Just about to see I've... Uh, it actually comes away there. So um, the plan is that you use a spritzer bottle to make the window wet and then you can slide on the film so let's see how that goes so let's just peel away the backing and you're supposed to hmm, not that well squeeze out all of the bubbles There we go, just need to work back and get rid of those. Right, let's just do the other one and then I'll give those a trim. So here they are in some proper light. Um, you can of course see through them. 
and they're mirrored the other way. There are a few small blemishes in there, but not too bad. So the next thing is to stick over the next layer, which is the special fabric, which we can diffuse the LED light through. So, <clears throat> probably what I'm going to do is put um, some plastic strips around the edges. Just glued on, so I've got something to sort of glue over it to hold it down. I can just use some super glue to glue that on. So I've now made a bit of a frame around two sides with some uh, just white styrene. And I've got these LEDs, which are, and if you can see those, they're actually square shaped. So they're two mil, two mil thick and three mil wide. And those are gonna be aligned all along the bottom of that line. And that black line I've drawn is basically the bottom of the eye shape. So I need to stick a number of these on. I think I get 18 to 20. I've got 40 of these LEDs all together stuck end to end um, this way and I need to wire them all up which is going to take me quite a long time. Right so here they are with the LEDs soldered on. It took me quite a while to wire all of those up so let's just power that up. There we go nice and bright. I've got these masks made which are just small bits of plastic with uh, painted black and the hole cut out to fit the eye shape. So that'll just go over there, and then you'll see a slight black border through the eye hole of the helmet. Um, there's quite a lot of light coming out of the back as well, so I've made these other masks, which are just another bit of plastic. Fits just in there, so not too much light shines into your eye. So I'll stick those on, and then we'll mount them in the helmet. Alright, so I've got those bezels fitted on the front and the back. So let's just power that up. Looks pretty good, nice and bright, nice and diffused, and uh, you can just see, you can still see through there, so seems to be working, so we better fit those into the helmet. Alright, so I've installed the eye lenses in the front of the helmet there, they're just bodged in with a bit of hot glue in the corners for now. So um, there's quite a lot of wiring to sort out and all of this electronics, which I'll be tidying up and fitting in in the next part. So let's see what that looks like from the outside. Yep, looks pretty good.